If you're a restaurant owner, you need to watch this video right now. Hi, my name is Michael Patrick Strauch. I am the founder of Wix Training Academy, and in today's video, I'm going to try to help you navigate as a restaurant how to best handle these times of pandemic with COVID-19 happening. I want to first say I hope you're staying safe, I hope you're staying healthy, and I can only imagine what you're going through as a restaurant owner in the current state and moment because everything is shut down, so it's impacting you directly. However, that doesn't mean you just have to sit there and die or close your doors. What it means is there's opportunity for you to take this and make it the best of it. So what I would recommend is moving to an online ordering system. If you haven't already done this or you don't have an online ordering system for your restaurant, you need to do that and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. But before we actually show you how to dive in and create the online ordering system, which is extremely easy to do in Wix, Let's also just talk about a few things. First and foremost, if you're watching this video and you're not a restaurant owner, make sure you go out there and support your local restaurants by ordering takeout. Most cities around the country right now have ordered stay-at-home orders, and that means restaurants are shut down. However, they are open for takeout, and the only way restaurants are going to be able to fully capitalize on takeout is if they're accepting phone orders and they have a way for people to order online through the restaurant. In fact, the other day, I went to support a local restaurant here, and this is what inspired me to make this video. I went to support them. I went online, I went to their website, and not only was their menu not up to date, but they didn't have a way for me to order the food online. Now, I'm okay with calling, but I just sit there and think about it for a minute, and I say, wait a second, we're in a time where it is literally takeout only. The website to this restaurant doesn't have an updated menu. I had to jump through hoops to find an updated menu, and I couldn't just simply order from their website online, make it easy, have them receive the order, make the food, and I'll come in and pick it up. I had to get on the phone. I had to call them. I had to dig through different menus, through different websites to find their correct up-to-date one. That cannot be you as a restaurant owner in this current moment. It's unprecedented. No, there's no playbook for this. Nobody has a playbook for what's going on. However, you have the ability to adapt and make the necessary changes to push forward and survive and thrive during this COVID-19 pandemic. So let's do it together. And it starts by creating a user-friendly way for potential new uh, customers that are going to walk through your virtual door, go to your website to look at your menu, to try to support you and making it easy for them to be able to just simply order online rather than having to jam up your phones with everybody calling you. Just simplify the process. Let's walk through how to do that using Wix. Okay, so right here we're using a template. This is just a template of a restaurant that Wix has created. It's poke. First off, poke for those of you that haven't had poke. I know a thing or two about poke. It's incredible. Support your local poke restaurants. Support all of your local restaurants, but this is an awesome style of food. Um, so we've got the website template here. What we have on this page is an online ordering system. And just what I would like to show you is how it functions to uh, a user once they click on this order online button. So I'm just going to go to the home page here, right? And then I'm just going to show you how easy it is to order online through this website. So let's just say I'm out there. I'm looking for a meal. I'm trying to support my local restaurant. It's a Friday night. I'm sick of being quarantined and eating the food at home. I, God bless my mother and everybody's mothers out there cooking all the food or fathers, doesn't really matter, um, but you just want some takeout right now, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to support this restaurant. 
this restaurant has a big button up at the top that says order online. So I'm going to click that button and it's going to go ahead and it's going to take me to an online ordering system where it's already got the menu an up to date menu. And let's just say, okay, I, I want the, uh, the hula pokey bowl. Okay. So I'm going to grab the hula pokey bowl. Now, typically you'll have the website, the description in here. You'll have the price. You'll have all that. If you have any special requests, maybe you don't want a certain seasoning on there because you're allergic or something of that sort. where well, you're going to add that special request quest here and you're going to add the quantity. Maybe you've got four people in your family. You're all having hula poke bowls. You're going to press add to my order. And then what it's going to do is you're going to see your order over here, your four hula poke bowls. And this shows an order preview and you can add some more special requests and then you can order online. Now it says online ordering is currently closed because it's 10 30 PM here in Arizona while I'm making this video. And, uh, this pokey place isn't going to be open, right? It's imaginary, but you set hours that you're open, but you would click order. Now it would would go ahead, process, take you to the billing page where you'll input your card information, and then you're done. You're, you're, you're done. You've got your order submitted, and the restaurant receives your order, and I'll show you how that works. But this is what that online ordering system works like and how it looks. It's so user-friendly, so implement it on your website. All right. I, I, I stress this because I want to see you guys survive during this time. I want to see you thrive, but if you don't put the proper precautions and adapt you're not going to make it with online ordering and people finding you online. It's too difficult. So how to do this? It's very easy to do. What you're going to need to do once you have your website built out in Wix, I'm assuming you've already got a site you're adding your online ordering system. Uh, there's going to be something you need to add. Technically two things. First and foremost, you're going to go to add apps. When you're in here, you're going to type in restaurant you're going to start to type in restaurant you're going to see two things wix restaurant menus and wix restaurant orders you're going to need both of these apps because people won't be able to order unless they can see a menu and you need the menu in order for people to see what they're going to order so you would simply click this and it says open app typically it will say add app it's already added in here and you just press add app and it's going to add a menus page to your website so you're going to add that one and then you're going to go back here and you're going to go to wix restaurant orders and again i've already got it i just showed you it you're going to press add app and it's going to add a restaurant orders page to your website in this case you can see it says open app on both now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and i'm on this page this is the page with that orders system so this is the orders app right here. This is the online ordering. What you're going to do is you're going to click settings. This will take you to the ability to change the settings, show what is on here, whether it has the dish label, section images. If you decide to have those, you can choose the layout. If you'd prefer it to be a grid or a list with pictures, that's totally your call. And you could come in here and change the entire design, what the font is, the sidebar over here, the dish labels, the color of the text, um, the color of the designs, uh, and you can see you can change the color of the background. All that good stuff can be modified in there. We're not going to spend too much time there. You change the design as needed for your restaurant. However, what we are going to do is we're going to go to info and we are going to turn it on. This is online ordering. What is important to note is you need a business and e-commerce plan through Wix, a business and e-commerce hosting plan. The reason being is that plan, one of those business and e-commerce plans, doesn't matter which one you choose, will allow you to take payments on your website. Otherwise, if you don't have that plan, you cannot accept payments on your website. So you need to get a business and e-commerce hosting plan. I promise you during this time period, it's worth the investment. Okay. So we're going to press turn it on here on the app. And then what it's going to do is it's going to actually take us to our dashboard, our Wix dashboard. And we're going to see over here on the left restaurants. Now you've already added your menus app and you've already added your uh, online ordering app. So over here, first and foremost, you're gonna see menus. So you have the ability to add as many menus as you want. Maybe you've got a lunch menu, maybe you've got a specials menu, maybe you've got a dinner menu. You come in here, you add those menus, and then you can actually come in and edit the menu. And you can change what dishes are in here, uh, and you can edit that. So if you click signature bowls, 
This is its own section. So you've got a section of signature bowls. Maybe you've got a section of sandwiches, a section of burgers, a section of pastas, section of chicken dishes, whatever that may be. And then you could come in here and edit each menu item. So you can add a description, the title of the item, add an uh, image, and then you can choose over here for online ordering. Is it available for delivery, pickup? Good recommendation here. Maybe if you currently offer delivery, maybe cut the delivery fees if you have delivery fees to encourage those deliveries, to encourage people from ordering from you. If you don't have delivery, maybe right now is not the time to introduce a brand new delivery infrastructure to your business, or maybe it is. I don't know. If you've got a delivery-based business and all the other competition have delivery services, might be time to consider that. So just think about those things, and you can choose you know, what it's available for, if it's available throughout all the apps on your website, uh, your mobile site, chatbots, stuff like that. These are all things you need to consider. Uh, then you have dish options, so you can add different options on here. Maybe you've got like different toppings, different sizes, whatever that may be. And you would do this for each menu item. So you got to come in here, add your menu, add the images, all that good stuff. But once you've got your menu set, okay, once you have your menu set, what you would do is you'd come in here to orders, okay? So what's going to happen is that menu is going to be displayed on your online ordering system, which is why if we go back to menus, we go in here, we go back to signature bowls, and we go into here, you can see, is it available on online ordering? And you can edit this. You can choose whether or not it's available on online ordering or not. And then you can actually choose your availability. Now, you have to set your actual business information and business hours in the Wix default dashboard settings, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute. And you would choose it. Maybe certain menu items aren't available for online ordering, so you'll uncheck these and you'll uncheck where it's available because it's not available on, on, on online ordering. And you would have to do that for the menu items that aren't. I can't see why there would be any at the moment, but maybe there are. Um, so now that you have your menu set, this is where you'll manage your orders, okay? So when new orders come in from your online ordering system, they'll be processed and shown right here. Then you'll see in progress. So these will be all of your orders that are in progress. And then these will just be all of your orders. You can even search orders in here. You can search by phone number or order number. You can check the settings right here. And you can choose here how you um, do certain things. So delivery, picker, pickup, excuse me, um, payments, what, what type of payments do you accept? Maybe you accept cards as well. In order for you to do that, you need to, of course, like I said, once again, have a business and e-commerce plan and set up a payment system through your Wix website. But you would choose online. You would select the gateway, whatever one you're going to use. I, I like Stripe personally. And you would need an API key if you're doing it this way, um, which you would get from Stripe. Stripe would pro provide you that API key. And then you would choose the information you want to collect. You want the cardholder name, the billing address, the security code, and the billing postal code? I don't know. Maybe you do. You would press apply. And that's how you would accept cards on your online ordering system. And then you can go back and you can see some advanced things like future orders. If people can order with you again, these are all different aspects, but you need to turn on the online ordering app. And this is where you could come in and actually manage that. Now to actually change your business information, like I just talked to you about, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here to your settings in your dashboard, okay? And you're going to want to come into general info and just add basic business information here. Um, where's your business located? Your hours, uh, your settings, tax-wise, currency, uh, time zone, all of those things because that all comes into play with your online ordering system. And then everything managed under your restaurant for your website would be under restaurants. So your menus, your online orderings, all of that will be under here. And then they have phone ordering too, which you can also now introduce, but you have to upgrade to a Wix business premium plan in order to start allowing phone ordering. So that way, when someone answers the phone at your restaurant, they can just plug the order straight into the Wix orders here, and then you'll have it and to reference so that way it goes back to your kitchen and your kitchen can view it all that type of good stuff this is how you will survive and thrive during this pandemic time 
add the online ordering system just like I just showed you. If you'd like to see a more in-depth version of how to go deep into this app and all the different routes you can explore, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to do that. Otherwise, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, make sure to smash that subscribe button. All of us can use support. We're all small business owners. That subscribe button is your way of showing support to me. I would appreciate it, especially if this video helped you out and if you'd like to continue watching more awesome content like this. Other than that, again, please comment if you've got any questions, if you'd like to see a more in-depth version of this. And I really, really appreciate you. I want you to know that I'm personally out here supporting local small businesses, local restaurants, ordering takeout. My family is, my girlfriend is, my girlfriend's family is. We're trying to be out here and helping you out. But please take these orders and these measures to thrive during this time and make it easy on people to order with you and get that takeout or get that delivery. Stay healthy. Stay safe. We're in this together. Let's get through it together.